Today we'll see how to simulate a distillation column in ChemCAD. So when we want to simulate a distillation column in any process simulator, we need to provide number of stages, feed state location, reflex ratio and everything. And which is not every time available with us if we are just designing the column. Hence, the concept of shortcut distillation column is present in every simulator. ChemCAD also has such shortcut distillation. So in this video, we'll be looking at how to simulate a shortcut distillation column. And in subsequent video, we'll see how to utilize the results of shortcut distillation column to simulate a rigorous distillation column. Now we are here, we are supposed to design a binary distillation column, which consists of methanol and water. And the feed for it is 1 lakh 20,000 pound per hour. Pressure uh, of the feed is 18 PSI and it is a saturated liquid. The reflex ratio is provided here. Not every time it is provided. Sometimes we might need to calculate it. But the methods which work with shortcut distillation column provides you with the value of reflex ratio as well. The separation required is 98% methanol in top and 98% water in the bottom. So let us uh, go to ChemCAD. Here I have already decided, uh, defined the components which is methanol, which are methanol and water. And I, I hope by this time you are aware about how to add components and how to select thermodynamic mode. So I will select the feed and uh, I will search for the shortcut distillation column. Here you are, you are having shortcut distillation column which requires two outputs that is two product streams so i'll take this is your distillate and this is your bottles so i join the inlet and outlet with the units right and i'll define the feed the feed is this is feed this shortcut column the feed pressure is 18 psi. Feed is saturated liquid, so I'll put zero here. And mole friction, mole friction is methanol 36.8. So methanol 0.368 and remaining water, and it is 1 lakh 20,000. And I'll flash it. So I got the stream which is entering the shortcut column. Now when I click on shortcut column, I will be allowed to provide some of the details related to the column like what is the reflex ratio, what is the you know separation and what are the other things. So let us see that. So we can select the mode. If it is uh, designing, we will uh, use, uh, we will find out the number of stages in feed set location. If it is rating, we have to supply feed set location and all. So naturally we are going to have designing. Designing, you have got two uh, options for uh, deciding the feed tray location. One is Fenske method, another is Kirk and, Kirk and Bride. So, we go with the Fenske method. We select the condenser as total and will not go for any other uh, detail. Column pressure, since the feed is at 18, we write here uh, 16 psi. Pressure drop 4 psi. So, we say that top is 16, bottom is 20, and uh, we say we say the ratio of R by R minimum, let's say 1.1 and we say what is our light component, methanol and the heavy component is water. So light ink component methanol, the split is 0.98 and here also I will write 0 0.02. Fine, and I will just write OK and I will just select it and run this. Right, and I will just click on this. I got the number of stages as almost 18. The minimum stages required are, see number of stages are here, there is actual stages. This is minimum number of stages, that is 7. And with 18, the feed stage location is 9. So this will be required for adding to the uh, rigorous distillation column. And uh, we say reflux ratio minimum is 0 0.78 and R by R minimum 1.8 making actual reflux ratio to be 0 0.86. We press OK. We go to the distillate. So in distillate, if I look at the mole fractions, the mole fraction methanol is 96%, roughly what we wanted. And in bottoms, 
we got 98% vote right so this is a starting point which we will be using to simulate distillation column let me see if i can show you the distillation column requirements so let, let me also show you you can go here with you know only separators so this gives you a distillation column click on this and what you require to provide is all this so i think we will see this in our next video that what are we going to you know do for the uh, distillation column and uh, how to simulate a distillation column in this video we have seen how to simulate a shortcut distillation column in order to get the required data when we want to solve the rigorous distillation column thank you